Yes, it's a, it's a drinking pod. It's Sunday evening. I've got Dean Saunders on four hours sleep and I've got Anthony Hepburn on four pints. So it's going to be entertaining. We've got TD in the house. He's come all the way from Sheffield. He's managing the corner. Shout to Omar. <laughs> right, first up, how did you get a mass build, grow over 100,000 Instagram followers, man? Yeah, no, it's crazy because like... For a while, I was sat around that like 4,000 mark just for a long time and that was not moving. And it kind of got to a point for me where I was like, just in my career as a whole, where I I just knew I needed to grow more and I I weren't sure what it was. So I just like, I just need to start putting content out. And at that time I started making like house music and stuff like that. And for me, it would just kind of, I never had a goal to like grow my socials like that. It would kind of just see where I could go with my music and my career. Yeah. And I kind of, I was just making beats and stuff like that and I was filming myself and I just started putting content out that were my personality and just doing it like that. And I remember I put my first video out on Instagram and I'd never seen so much engagement compared to before because I was just on that typical like 18-year-old flex where I'm posting up pictures of me stood next to a car going like this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I was just on Dean's that still flex. doing that. I was just on that flex. I was still doing that. <laughs> I've never done that. I've never done that for the record. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm still doing that now. But no, like, genuinely, yeah. So I, I, I kind of came out of my comfort zone a little bit. I started making content, like, based around my music and stuff. Because I knew I needed to, like, get to that next level. I just wanted to I just wanted to full, fully double down on doing my music. So I remember I filmed a video of me making a beat. And I kind of just put a little bit of my personality in there, talked a little bit. And I had that, like, genuine interaction with the camera. And I just put that out. And I, there was no strategy behind it. I just kind of went with the flow and just did it. Was this still kind of a house beat? Yeah, this was okay. like a house beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I put that out and I'd never seen so much engagement on my Instagram before. Like everyone that followed me and people that I didn't know even followed me were commenting on it, liking it. And I was like, yo, like I'm onto something here. Yeah, like people were seriously like engaged. And I think it's because I was doing a different sort of content. I was having that, again, that real interaction with a camera. And then from there... I remember I posted the same video on TikTok as well. And that kind of just started blowing. Like, just because of the song. And I think it was just a bit of everything combined. And I just got addicted to, like, them likes coming in. I'm not going to lie. Like, I was seeing them likes and I was seeing that engagement. And I was just like, wow, like, that's... The endorphins. Yeah, literally. <laughs> it was just that hit. It was just that hit of endorphins that yeah. I needed. Do you know what I mean? So, I know, I know screaming out their window. Bitch, I'm famous! Yeah! yeah. Do you know what's actually mad, yeah? Because I, I were an open format DJ. So I was, I was playing in Leeds like one of the nights and I remember my video. Yeah, we've like, both done that. Yeah, we've yeah, both yeah, put yeah, the yeah. time in yeah, for that, mate. We know. Bro, you know what I'm saying? So listen, that's how it's got to be. But I remember, yeah, my video got like 100k on TikTok, yeah. Woo! Nice, And I was nice. buzzing. And I remember, yeah, oh God, I'm so cringe talking about it, but I went to uh, I went to one of my gigs that I was like, yo, I wonder if anyone's going to recognise me. <laughs> <laughs> bro, it's done 100k. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, I'm, like, yo, I'm famous now. I wonder who's going to recognise me. Obviously, no one did. So, but nah, like, anyway, yeah. So, I kind of just started working more on my music career, and then obviously, my track got signed, and I was fully thrown into my, my career at that point. And for me, it were always kind of like my mate used to say to me, we're like, look, like, you've started something now that's that's like hot, just keep it hot. Yeah. And I was like, obviously, addicted to the fucking, you know, the engagement and that, as I said. So, basically, yeah. Um, yeah, do you know what it is? I just stayed consistent with my content yeah and I would just always like like I say I just always wanted that thing that my, my worst nightmare is falling off and like that not happening again so all my new content I was thinking right what can I do to make this more engaging people love this so I need to do it more but I need to do it better and it would just consistently over time just doing that and then interacting with the people that are commenting making sure that I'm giving something of value to people so people are obviously liking the music yeah I'm going to drop the music and then obviously people listen to it and then I think it's, for me, getting to that 100K mark, I think it's kind of a mixture of everything because, like, I've had some videos that have done really well that have, like, properly, like, blown on, like, Instagram and stuff. I've got, like, over a million views. I think that contributes to it a lot. But then I also think because I'm putting out music as well and I'm an artist, it's like there's going to be people that have never seen me on Instagram or I've never come up on their For You page or I've never come up on their Reels, but they listen to my music and they think, right, who is this guy? And then they follow me through that as well. Yeah. And uh, for me, I can always say in my career, in, in my thing, I've got my niche, I've stuck to it. And there's, But there's not that one thing that you can pin me on for like, right, he's done well because of this or he's done well because of that. And and this is like true because every, I don't like to call people fans. I like to, like people that 
engage with my stuff and listen to my music. Uh, I always ask them like, oh, what, like, what is it that you found me from? And every single time, like someone says something different. Like everyone, yeah, someone wicked. says, oh, I saw you from this or uh, I listened to this track or like that, that, this is how I found out about you. And every single time it's something different. So I think that that's what it is. I think it's all about consistency. I think it's all about staying true to yourself as well. And I was saying to someone else, I was saying like in this day and age, everything's ma- it's stuff so manufactured and people can see the bullshit. Mm-hmm. And I think that if you come through on social media as being a genuine and honest person, yeah. if you can look into that camera and someone's watching on a screen and you're looking into their eyes and like I say, having that genuine interaction with someone, I think that that's the era that we're kind of going into now 100%. where people have kind of missed out on that and they're missing that genuine interaction because everyone's on the phone these days. Everyone's going through short form content because yeah. the way that the world's worked and all TikTok and everything, people's attention spans so short. So people are making content that's the most engaging. It might not be the most real, but it's the most engaging. So there's a lot of like this fake shit going on with reels and TikToks honestly it's and like people. it's like deja vu with the drinking pod because he reminds me a lot of morgan c tree like a guy who made a lot of like tech house stuff yeah. you know what i mean from soft yeah. and everything else it makes me think of ben hemsey as well like he's so real on his on his social stuff yeah like the way that he comes across and obviously just like a local lad from the northeast and everything and it, i think it resonates man yeah oh. and, I, that, and that's what it is and i feel like that's what we're going into now because people have missed so much of that yeah because everyone's on the phone we're still used to like them. polished boy bands getting put yeah, together exactly. by exactly and everyone's doing fake stuff yeah yeah. And I think it's getting to a point where people can smell the shit. Yeah. And seeing something something that's real and something that's good, I think that people really do resonate with that. So I think that that's what it is for me. I think it's just been consistency. I think it's just been keeping it real. And I think it's just putting focusing on a niche that like my niche is making music and putting engaging out for music lovers. Like the music's the music's like all right, you know what I mean? I think that people like that. I think that people... I mean, 56 million plays is... Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> well, that's what I think. But, <laughs> but you know what it is? I'll be honest, you know, as a, as a musician, like, especially for me, I always, always doubt myself. And some of the people that I speak to that are the best musicians that I've met and I've spoken to, they always say the same thing. Yeah. And it's like, it's weird because, like, even when I DJ, I don't play a lot of my own stuff because I'm always like, yeah. this just sounds shit to me. But you just have to just go for it and just do it. Do you know what I mean? So I think it's just one of them ones. But yeah, I, like I say, consistency and doing the right thing. And it's always people talk about luck and they say it's when consistency meets opportunity. Yeah. yeah. And that's so true. And it's just building up on that and growing a solid fan base. You might get a crack in the door, but you've got yeah. to be ready to boot the door open. Exactly, yeah. Nail through it at a thousand miles an hour and yeah. never stop. I'm, exactly. I'm not, I'm not going to lie, by the way. What a story. I forgot I was on the pod there. I was just, I was watching it, just drinking. Mate, yeah, I man. feel so fucking empowered. It's I, I, unbelievable. It, it, like, yeah, man. That's it's very man. dangerous. It's very dangerous for me not to speak for that long because this is what people haven't seen who... Well, he's re three times while he's been off camera. But every time the camera's gone on you, for what everyone knows, I could have ordered a couple of times, yeah. couldn't I? Like, this is Serrano is going. <laughs> but no, yeah, man, man. I've, I've city sick. I mean, to be fair, I, I was going to jump in at one point when you're on about the endorphins. I was like, that's, I get endorphins from Dink Dink this <laughs> I know, apparently. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I know we were both very ropey coming into this pod, weren't we? And uh, I feel like we're both very much perked up. Yeah, that's it. I'm not going to make eye contact, but he's 100% agreeing that we're all staying out tonight. He's coming <laughs> to persistence tonight. <laughs> I was going to say again, so obviously this will be out on the Tuesday, but we're actually recording on a Sunday. It's our Sunday first night. ever Sunday that we've recorded the pod. And obviously Sunday is my, my party night. I mean, at the minute, there's more than one. <laughs> there's more than one party night, but Sunday is my party night. So I've been excited for a pre-persistence pod for a while haven't we yep um, but I was actually I've been having a chat with the uh, with the both of you obviously a couple of times in the build up this and as Felix says thank you for coming down no, but I was right, actually man. doing a bit of research uh, as we were chatting and have I seen a certain world class DJ Mr. Tiesto like in some of your stuff do yeah, you want to I'll just, I'll just pour my body in lemonade yeah, say, be, you just before casually, I answer this one. Actually, <laughs> pour your, your vodka and lemonade before you come back to us on this one. Do you know what's crazy, man? That is just mad. Like even just listening to you say that, it's like shit. Like it's that's insane. actually real. It's insane. You know what I mean? But it's crazy. You deserve like, a drink before you tell yeah, us. It is. One sec. <laughs> mm. So yeah, how that kind of happened is obviously I've always been a lover of all music. <laughs> I've listened to dance music since I was a little kid. I've listened to all kinds of music, but obviously Tiesto is just one of them names where it's just like, yo, like 
you just know in it. Do you know what I mean? He's just a legend. And listening to Das Your Strings and all them old classic trance bangers, like he's just a legend. And what happened is I did a, another one of my videos just that I put on my Instagram and I put on my TikTok to put up, promote my new single, mm-hmm. uh, Be With You Tonight. And that one did like really well. And there's um there's like a, a dance music page called 1001 Tracklists. Mm-hmm. And they reposted my video. And obviously he follows them. So he's seen the video, liked it, gone onto my page, seen what obviously what I'm up to. So I'm like, oh my God, this is like the godfather of dance music, like of EDM and trance. And I, I was like, what the fuck? Like, is this even real? He commented fire emojis on my video, bro. Nice. What the fuck? Yes. Do you know what I mean? Nice, I've nice. no more on straight away. I'm like, yo, have you seen this? Like, bro, that's enough for me. I don't even want that. Retire and you motherfucker. Bro, that's just like, there's, and there's so many things that happen to you when you're doing things. And these, these are the little things that just make you want to just keep going. Because there's been so many times in my career where it's, I've been so close to being like, this shit's not going to work. Or this is, I'm fucking shit. Or like, and you doubt yourself so much and you're so close to quitting, but then something like that happens and then it's like, nah, you know what? Like, if someone like that is respecting what I'm doing, then I need to just carry on. So yeah. is there any chance of, like, getting together, working on something together? So I messaged him and... Uh, of course he did into his gassed. fucking DMs. Yeah, obviously I, I of course he did. And our gas and he, he was, like, showing love and that. And hopefully one day, maybe if, if uh, the stars align... Something, something could happen. Something could happen for sure. Yeah. So where does where does TD come from? Like where does the name come from? So that, that's that's like my actual name, and I've been called that like since I was young kid. Oh, I love since that. I was like, because the thing is, I've been producing and DJing since I was like eleven years old. Okay. So when I was in school, everyone called me that anyway. No, my mates around my area like that was just my name. So like that's always just. Does, but does it come from initials? Does it come yeah, from? Yeah, like... my, my, my name's obviously Thomas Dempsey. Right. So it's yeah. So it's Got my you. it's my full on initials. Nice. So yeah, and obviously I just put the E E E E yeah. there to mm-hmm. make it look a bit cooler. Yeah. But I've all, that name's just been with me since I've been a young kid. Anyway, everyone called me that cool initials. I've got what are your initials? Fucking Nintendo DS or something like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I got there. Yeah. Yeah. Big D, that'd be your DJ. Do you know what I'm about his MC name of the week? He's now MC Conto. I was saying if I was a DJ, I'm going for Dean J. That's what yeah, I'm going for. Not even a bit after, just Dean J. That's just what I'm going for. Also, no awful. pressure. It's awful, isn't it? That's awful. Oh, why do you think I, well, I can't DJ, so it kind of <laughs> fits it, doesn't it? Or it? It kills us because we get so many cool people who come on and obviously DJ or yeah. people who came on who, like, obviously some of the MCs that we've had on also yeah. DJ. And I'm like, I, I, we have this conversation all the time since the very first pod I think we're on pod 18 now yeah. is that correct mm-hmm. pod 18 and uh, I'm like oh I'm gonna I'm gonna learn how to and what have you it. done about it oh absolutely fuck all <laughs> Had a couple of Disseranos and just enjoyed myself. You know, when you're a promoter extraordinaire like yourself, you don't need to worry about no. it. Yeah. Just it can fuck himself. Is, is this like... why you've changed your room in persistence downstairs to R&B so you can turn and be like, let me play four and them tracks in the world. <laughs> the crowd will go Thing fucking is, though, wild. Like, I am in a position where like, I could put myself on at a festival and like, what he's going to do? <laughs> like, well, the dance floor might clear. Out, like, 100%, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nobody will buy tickets and, and everyone will be in every other arena. <laughs> but like, what can you do? <laughs> I've got a question. And this might make this makes more sense to me now, yeah. Because you mentioned you started off making a bit of house music, yeah. So I listened to your tracks on Spotify. Thank you. Love me. Yeah. Had you been listening to Infinity Inc. around the time that you potentially made that? Do you know what this is like? Uh, and when I put that TikTok out and I put that, bit, everyone saying, "Oh, you ripped off Infinity." Inc. I didn't say that. No, no, I know you yeah. didn't say that. <laughs> I'm, I'm a, I'm a producer. That's, I take inspiration from all kinds of. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> Everyone were commenting. So, yeah, and I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna bullshit. Like I swear to God, I'd never heard that. Really, song it's just one of them coincidences. Because there's there's a video of me actually making that song start to finish. And yeah, like that's the story of that song is crazy. Yeah, because at the time when I said I'm filming content, I would I would do it trying to do this YouTube thing as well. Yeah, so I was like, how to make a Tom Zanetti type beat? I was going to be one of them produ- one of them like YouTube producers. Yeah. like that's what I wanted to do. I was trying to do anything to grow. Yeah. So no one's done a how to make a Tom Zanetti type beat. And you can see me from the very start, like make the beat. And you can see me drawing the notes in. You can see me picking the bass sound. Yeah. Like everything starts to finish. And Is I, it still on YouTube now? People check it out. It's still on YouTube nice. now, yeah. It's still on YouTube now. And it's like mad to watch. And I watched it over there and I was like, yo, this is mad because I started off the song with a different bass pattern. And then like 10 That's minutes into the move. video, I was like, do you know what? This is not working. I'm going to try something else. So then I did a different sort of melody. And then I just kept adjusting it until it got to that. And I was like, yo, this is hard. Yeah. yeah. And I never heard, I never heard the track before. 
But yeah, it's just one of them. It, it, to be fair, it, I, I knew you hadn't sampled it. Yeah, yeah. But I was just like, it kind of sounds similar, but without a few it's got missing notes. Sonics. And yeah, and it's just got a couple of little yeah, changes yeah, yeah, in there yeah, that, yeah. like, I, I used to do a thing called, I mean, I, I'm a house producer, yeah. but I used to do a thing called Show Me the Sample, which is on like YouTube. And again, it's like, it just twigged my little mind. I was like, I was like, oh, that oh sounds. Oh my God, I've seen that's, that. There you go, oh, mate. Oh, 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 I've watched, bro, I've watched so many of your videos and I've just remembered. Oh, bro, dude. listen, I'm subscribed, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Right, listen, I'm a podcast subscribe, done, bro. <laughs> bro, that's sick, bro, that is actually sick. I love them videos, bro. I swear. All right, listen, you gotta give me some. I don't want to ruin a really nice one, but I'm gonna do a couple little. If you haven't subscribed to Loose Cast, yeah, do it. But also, that links us into the previous episode, Dan Nightingale, yeah. who was obviously Felix's yeah, partner. Dan was that, was, we literally was recorded on, on Thursday in here with Dan, my partner from it. That's brilliant. So that's crazy, man. It is. I can't get over that. That's that's bro, I've watched so man. many of your videos, bro. I'm a subscriber. Bro. It's the cap. It's the cap. <laughs> but obviously, listen to you talk. I think it's like absolutely fucking class. To listen, to Thanks, you. like bro. you're so like passionate about it. And you're so switched on. That, that's why I need to oh. be careful, bro. Because especially after a few of these, I'll be chewing your ear off. Oh. Fucking mate, mate, trust me. Again, I'll, be like, I'll be like that drunk guy in fucking club. Who me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But obviously, you said you started when you're 11. How do you get into that? Like, like what? What makes? Because obviously, when I'm 11, I think I'm going to play for Middlesbrough up front. Yeah, I get what once and they say get back in fucking goal and obviously that's how I quickly got told that I was a goalkeeper not an outfield player although as Anthony knows from seven aside nowadays could uh they, I, I'm couldn't no, his own horse with his hand mate, some people tried, call but... me the power league Harland you call Who? yourself that I man. call myself that <laughs> yeah but like I do score goals in the power league I don't run much but I score goals but obviously how do you get into that 11 this is crazy yeah, because all my life do you know, like, when you're younger, you try things, innit? Like, I don't know, like, when I was younger, I might have tried skateboarding or scooter, oh, you know. Don't get me started We've on all skateboarding. Done it. Oh, We've all done it. There's a skateboard out there. When we eventually have a, a podcast studio where we have all the stuff on the wall, we've got a few things. We've got yeah. an Adaboo game, because obviously... He's I'm cool, because I played an Adaboo when I was younger. Adaboo basically is, like, my code word where I can't lie. Adaboo. If you want me to tell the truth, you say Adaboo when I can't lie. Adaboo. We've got a little trophy where I won against Jamie Hutchinson. Then Adaboo. I beat Dan Nightingale by default. Adaboo. Adaboo. Oh, we're building a little uh, collection here. We've also got a skateboard from the time that I really wanted a skateboard. Begged my mum and dad to get me one. And I did one ollie that I failed. <laughs> Listen. I did one ollie that I failed, never got used again. But we found it in my garage, so it's brought in. Listen, but, bro, it's got to be done. But yeah, so I, I can resonate. By, by the end of 2024, one of us three has to nail a kick foot on that skateboard. What, what do you think is more likely, me being able to DJ or me being able to ollie? Ollie. Do you reckon? No. I'm, I'm, I've got DJ that It's easy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm the only one on this table who can't do it. I think it says a lot. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, so you're 11, you give up skateboarding like so, me. So, yeah, so I kind of like, all my friends were doing like hobbies. Either football, yeah. going on skate park, whatever it was, some kind of sports, and I never resonated with any of them. Yeah. Like, I always tried it, I always wanted to fit in, and it was like, never <laughs> for me. And all my life, I've always resonated with music, because yeah. like, I've had some hard times like growing up from like a younger kid, and... That's always been the thing that I've listened to and it's always made me feel something that I've never been able to feel like from anything else. From a young, young kid. And mm. I'm, and it's crazy because like my my I've got like quite a musical family, so my mum's like a session singer and sings a lot, and then my nice. grandma's been in a band and my dad used to like do a bit of DJing and that back in the day, and he's always been a massive music lover. Like all my family is just a mu- like just a quite a musical family, love music. And for me, that's always been the thing that I've always resonated to. And I, I remember I used to have one of them re- first ever iPods when I was a little, little kid. And I just had loads of tracks downloaded. And I had all sorts on there. And I just used to literally just listen to them in my room, like on my own or like whatever I was doing. Because I was quite introverted as a kid. And that was just always kind of like my escape. And I've always had that like quite a technical brain. I've always wanted to know like what certain things were. And I remember asking my dad when I was like proper young, like how does like how does Dr. Dre make this like sound or like he's what playing is to it? his audience he's like, going yeah. Dr. Dre he's no, going no, no, Eminem no, Dr. Dre because my dad's oh. like my dad loves yeah. that old old school yeah. West Coast shit love so it, like, I've it. come up on that yeah. yeah so I were always like wondering and, and analysing deeper the music from yeah. a young young kid and I've always been into the technical side of it and whatnot and been interested in it and whatever and my mum got me a guitar when I was like nine years old and I remember yeah I just fell in love shout with it shout out to his mum yeah innit innit for real 
So I was just literally playing guitar in my room all day, every single day, because that was the only thing I'd fell in love with. And when I, the thing is with me, when I find something that I love, I'm just obsessed with it. Love it. And that, yeah. and th- that's the only thing I've been obsessed with, music. Uh, for Dean, it's Deserano. And Eminem. <laughs> yeah, that's it, Eminem. And Middlebro and the Wind. Oh, by the way, if you didn't know, he can rap the verse for Rap God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to do it again? For TD? No, I can't do it again when I'm drunk. <laughs> it gets even faster when I'm drunk. Just, yeah, give just us the wrong words. Two <laughs> Listen, you can it. see it persistence tonight, 1am in the uh, main room. <laughs> I'm with R&B now. The thing, thing is though, we did it before and I just proved that I could actually do it. So it still kills me on that Stelton podcast that I messed up the setting up. Do you know what? I'm going to make a bold prediction. This guy right here. By, by the way, I've already decided. Sorry, I'm making the decision for you. You're, all, you're coming back on already. Yeah. And you're jumping on next time as well. We'll get an extra seat. <laughs> we'll get you on as well. We'll, we'll have a, we'll have you back. But, I want to um, move from. I want to move but, from eleven. Go on. But I was going to say, Bugsy. Yeah. Obviously, Tiesto. Fingers yeah. crossed. J- our boy James Hype. James we, Hype. We, we love James Hype. Me and Felix. Yeah. And obviously, we've, I've, I've been to Ibiza with him. We've told that story before. But I'm going to make a bold prediction of everyone we've had on. If there's one guy. Who can get a song with Eminem? It's this guy here. Listen, I'll do what it takes, mate. Listen, if the, if <laughs> here for the team, <laughs> that's it, bro. Listen, and I'll be ringing you straight away. Listen, I'll be like, "Hello, Stan. Can you come and do, can you come and do rap, God? Just to like impress him." I want to move from eleven, yeah, to eighteen, yeah. Because you said before we started recording that yeah. you came to Newcastle for your eighteenth birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me, give me the uh, um, allowed. Yeah, chat that you're happy to talk yeah, about. Give me a little rundown of how that 18th birthday yeah. went down in Newcastle. Are you comfortable saying when that was as well? How old, how old are you? I'm 22. 22, yeah, so we're talking four so years ago. Recent. That's my heart so, fucking breathing. <laughs> <laughs> so it's basically like, so to be fair, this is like, this is just pre-pandemic, right? This yeah. is like, yeah, right. Yeah, Tell nice. us about the night. So I had um, one of my mates, yeah, because we were quite naughty back in school. I were always a charmer, yeah, and, and this will lead on to the story, right? <laughs> so I were always a charmer, yeah. I never like got into trouble like that. Yeah. Our old teachers loved me, but I were a bit naughty in school, and I ended up getting a naughty mate, yeah, called Brandon. And me and him, I just, already love Brandon. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not like, it's he sounds like, like my kind of friend. The devil like, on the shoulder. <laughs> <man. laughs> that's it. That's it. Can so we get him. Brandon on the pod? <laughs> <laughs> bro, we so, want Brandon, bro. Let's tag. We want Brandon. Bro, trust me, yeah. Honestly, that'd be legendary. Yeah. <laughs> we had. Spoke recently because obviously everyone goes on different ways but anyway in school prison like <laughs> no 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 not that bad not that bad joking Brandon you know, like, call yeah, me so, yeah sorry Brandon <laughs> so yeah he, so yeah he was kind of like the devil on my shoulder yeah. mm-hmm. and we were and we were always going out anyway because I was DJing in Chef from being 14 years old so we, mm, he were always coming with me we were always doing naughty shit and he was like listen we need to go to we need to go to Newcastle one night. I've heard that ratio out there is <laughs> <messed up. laughs> yes. oh, yeah. we, we need to go to Newcastle one night. Is that sort of sound? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to tone it down a bit. So you guys, is he, is he currently in Bad Boy Chiller Crew? <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, he's like, we need to go there. I've heard ratios fucking <laughs> right now. <laughs> so, so anyway, when we've got us out, because obviously the only place that we could go was Sheffield because I was DJing there. So that's the only place legally we were allowed to go because we were not legally, I mean, but yeah. we were allowed to sneak in and DJ and then chill for the rest at night. Yeah. So when we got to- You 18- didn't come on a Monday, did you? You are? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> now, so... <laughs> Taking a toot! Oh, oh, God, I've got to take a toot. <laughs> I've got to take a toot to get on to this. So, anyway... <laughs> so, anyway, yeah. He's like, listen... You know, it's a good well, story, story about you older than me. before you take it. <laughs> he, he, he were older than me, yeah. He were older than me a bit. Oh, like, listen. Way. When we were 18, we're going near. I said, because the other ratio's right now. So, <laughs> so, I'm like, sound... <laughs> So anyway, we're gearing up for a big night out in Newcastle, right, yeah? Nice. So listen, that were it. We just came here because we heard that this was... Was it only spot. two yeah? No, it were me, Brandon, yeah. and another one of our mates. Okay, three. we ended up staying at Travel Lodge. Of course you did. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Because obviously... Keep that classy or not at all. 40 quid. <laughs> like the G's. You've got you've got free... You've got that set E thing that turns into a thing. <laughs> but your birthday, so you're not seeing it. And nobody's fucking messing with Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> of course. The other guy's stuck on his A. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, we've just ended up coming here. We were just on loose. Can mate. you remember where you went? 
What we day was it? Do you remember what day it was? It was a Saturday. It was a Saturday, okay. Right, it was. We went, we, do you know, can I be honest? We didn't have a clue where we were going. We just I, turned up and we were just asking people. Yeah. We went to, oh, what I'm this hoping one? this is like a, Felix, I've watched you on show. Yeah. So I'm hoping you, you turn around and you go, I was at a loose days event, but it doesn't seem like it's going that way. No, <laughs> it was, uh, we started off actually, so, what's that? There's like a, um, it's like a Weatherspoon sort of place. Yeah. It's literally, literally two doors. Mile Castle. Mile Castle, yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, started, yeah. There. <laughs> we started there. We started there, yeah? Swallowed a few in there. Love yeah. it. Then we got chatting to some people like, yo, where should we go? And they, they told us to go to this place and they were like some guy in like a, in like a, Coughing or something as we walked in. Oh, oh, dancing! (laughs) (laughs) And now you recognise Ant again. (laughs) (laughs) Our our favourite goth, by the way, Ant. Avoided goth banter for so many pods. That's three hours. Any more fucking beers? <laughs> Wait, he's not the guy in the coffin, is he? He's the guy in the coffin. Shut up, Uncle Fester. They call him. Shut up. Three I'm out of four. The guy in the fucking. Three out of four. Pods. There was some guy, yeah, no joke, in like a, in like a, in like a box, and he was just like, I don't know if he was stood up or laid down or something, but it was just mad. Name some like what I like. The well, like a clubs. genuine person in a coffin. <laughs> <laughs> no, but were like, were you in the cemetery? Were you in the? Did you get charged Henry in the cemetery? That were later on. <laughs> no, so was it, Gotham, sounds, it kind of sounds like Gotham. Was Gotham still open then? I was no, 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 no. Gotham. It were, it were like an acrylic <laughs> thing. But what's some of the biggest places? Weren't China White? Where, what are the other ones? Digital. No, it weren't that. Uh, <laughs> top top. Yeah, I think that were it. You went to Pretty top sure top. that way. So, we, that's we where, go to top so, top. so that's where you're going tonight. That's, yeah, that's where you were both going tonight. Well, top top. Right, so who's going to see who's me? Who's going to the coffin then? You'll I'm, see me in the coffin <laughs> in two hours. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I'm, I'm on four hours sleep, so if I can get a bit of shut eye hey, in the coffin, I'll be honest, take yeah. it. In Sheffield, we're just used to a couple of bars. So we come to Newcastle, we see, see, see oh. some fella in a fucking coffin that's half naked. We think, what the fuck's going off here? <laughs> we're in for a rate, mate. So fucking hell, yeah. So listen, we've gone in here. Fella on door's gone. You're not coming in here. Are that you were joking? it. No. So we didn't end up going in. So then we just ended up struggling about for a bit and then Yeah, that were it basically. Newcastle's like the perfect place to come for a night out and just struggle though, isn't it? Yeah. Everywhere's next Everywhere is yeah, in yeah, front yeah. of you anyway, yeah, exactly, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. And then uh after that night, Newcastle my favourite place to come. Love it. Nice. And anytime and that's I'm not even just saying that yet. Anytime someone says, Oh, where should we go in? Like, where's the best place to go out? And I'm like, listen, go to Newcastle. The worst part is now you've got three devils on your shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is You're that? doing them to a disservice. You've got five. <laughs> <laughs> what is, to be fair, I'm getting that drunk. You've got ten. I'm saying double. <laughs> what, is a normal, what is a normal Sunday look like for TD? Like if you're not recording yeah. a loose cast yeah. and you're not going to go persistence and party yeah, with Dean, yeah. what does a normal Sunday look like for Can TD? Can be honest? Yeah. Every day where I'm not like going out, which is not often, I'm a loser. All I do all day is make music. That's not so, that bad. I don't think anyone agrees that you're a loser, man. I'll probably go for a run or something, because I'm into fitness and that. Okay. So I'll go for a run or something. Tied in my bedroom. <laughs> and then um, I'll literally just sit on my computer all day and make music. I don't do anything else. Right, Dean, what is it? What is it? What is a usual Sunday look like for Nintendo DS? <laughs> Nintendo DS? It's sticky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to take my jump off. <laughs> What's a normal okay. Sunday look like? Hmm. Turns it Borough won the day before, and I said say Borough won. Oh, Borough won. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I went out on the Saturday celebrating. Yeah. So I'm up. I'm up a little bit later on the Sunday. Although I say that, like I say, so oh, about I, two p.m. Well, no, I had a late one last night. I was up at eleven today. I eleven. Nice. It, again, this is my issue. Like again, I'm weirdly proud of this. Like I've, we were having this discussion before. Like I've never smoked a cigarette <laughs> in my life, and I've never done drugs in my life. But as much as I think that's impressive. I think I've absolutely evened it out with how much I drink. Yeah, like I I think, like I like give it the big end of how healthy I am because I've never smoked and done drugs. But then I think I'm actually an absolute mess who (laughs) drink. I think I'm an absolute mess who like does too much drinking. So a normal Sunday. So. But my point was, sorry, 11 a.m. was up today because I think I've got that much sugar in my system. I'm, yes. like, I'm like, I, it gets to 11 o'clock and I'm it's just developed like, diabetes. I look, I look like the guy in the coffin. I'm just like, that's <laughs> <laughs> that too much sugar. Does that mean I have the night off? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know where that guy is in that coffin, right? in that acrylic so, coffin. <laughs> so yeah, I'll wake up, try and sort myself out a bit. Sorry, yeah. We talked about it before. I get wrong for touching the mic. Rightly so, by the way. I am the issue. <laughs> this is your fucking story, man. No. The beers are getting warm. <laughs> <laughs> so, sort myself out. Go for a Sunday's dinner with the boys. Where do you normally go? Oh, we like Babuccio. 
Okay. Depends how hungover we are. If we're really hungover, we go Toby. Oh, because fuck you, Dean. No, if we're really hungover, nah, he's a chef and he tells me off for anything I do. But it's, it's if you go Babuccio, it's like. What's your Babuccio order? Um, what is that, by the way? The Buccio, it's like a lush, a pretentious restaurant. Uh, restaurant. It's not, it's absolutely <laughs> lush. It's but like it's in like, Italians, but they do a bang on Sunday dinner. Oh, they yeah. do a bang on Sunday dinner, but it's a bit more expensive. So, like, if I'm too hungover where I'm not going to finish it, it's Toby. But if I'm like, okay. Listen, so what you're on about? Toby's fucking up there for us. You oh. can fuck off as well. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> it is. But, so, uh, what's your order? Oh, I just get there. Basically, Sunday's dinner with the beef. And um, you've got this. I mean, we know there's a, we know there's like changes. There's a modification yeah, coming yeah. somewhere. Yeah. There's actually not in uh, Vivucio. I just I, just I, order a Sunday dinner. And you don't say anything else. I don't. Do you know how you do? Do you know how you do broccoli? Is there any chance you can put them in a wok and uh, put some garlic <laughs> and soy sauce in there, please? <laughs> wok fried greens, no bok choy, extra broccoli. <laughs> uh, done as long as possible, as soft as possible, but still with the garlic. That's my Wagamama's order, just for the record, because he. So no it. changes to your no Mabuccio. changes on that. So I sort of myself out, go to the gym. Maybe I thought, no, I thought you did. I thought you did pre persistence gym in your house. Well, I try and do it a bit earlier. Then I'll then I get a little pump on it. Then I'll try and go see my mother, Sue and Steve. I mean, mother and father. Sorry, Dad. Uh, first <laughs> subscribers to our YouTube channel, by the way. So shout out. Yeah, Steve. man, Sue and Steve. Steve. Not even that, by the way. First two, they made a second account. <laughs> <laughs> Also, if you watch Lucas and you have Lucas, <laughs> shit. <laughs> if you watch Lucas and you haven't subscribed, please do that. Um, so, my mother and father go. Try and to if you need them. driving lessons. Fuck them! <laughs> <laughs> Mom, Dad, don't watch the next one. <laughs> um, but yeah, edit that out, Felix. <laughs> <laughs> no, will you though? <laughs> so obviously I'll do that, and then all the boys will come over for pre's, and obviously, like I say, Sunday's the big one. So everyone will come around mine for pre's, which again, you two will experience this later when we're coming around mine for pre's later. And then uh, we'll do a little quick. I've got a gym in mine. So I've got to do a little quick okay, hell. Oh, I know. Okay, now you're saying fuck it. More money than soft making. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, what you're really saying is fuck it. Now you're at a gym in your house and you look like that. <laughs> so uh, I'm his personal trainer. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then I'll do a quick gym sesh. Have a few drinks with the boys. Then we'll go persistence. I think that's my Sunday, and I, I love it. Right, let's play Uh-oh. a second only round Uh-oh. of Deserano Pong. However, it's got a new title. Oh. We're going to go Movember Deserano Pong. I'm convinced, right, Felix, he's so good at podcasts, as you've seen from Show Me The Sample. He's so good at podcasts and content. He just comes up with ways where he can mug me off. He's put silly... No, no, on oh, no, no, no. Everyone, oh. including us, celebrating November. We're going to pick... We gone last episode. We're going to pick a stick-on moustache... Uh, I think I'm going to go for the bandit, obviously. Uh, you two can pick yeah, what you want. Right, you want a bandit? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for the bandit. There's I'm more... going for the scoundrel. You can have a look on there if you want. You just peel off and stick on. Two bollocks to fucking unpeel it. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go for the party Joel, do you want one? I... Joel, do you want one? Do you want a moustache? <laughs> uh, right, so we also need Would to set one? up... <laughs> we also need to set up the uh, Deserono Pong. I've gone party boy. Is this going to be one of these things where like, I stick it on my tash and I take it off and it actually oh. takes my fucking tash off? Yeah, I need someone to unstick it. Oh, should I just put it on as like a mono bro instead? A mono bro. The, Gall- the Gallagher. <laughs> right, yeah, I'm struggling go. with that as well, you know. I this one go. should be called <coughs> Pono Tash. <laughs> can, is there a chance you can help me with that? Because I can't do it. Me, right. it Three disarronals and you so can't even peel a sticker. Let's set up. Let's set up. The, what do you uh, think? <laughs> what about... Nice. Looking good. Real good. Like a distinguished gentleman. By the way, we've got an issue with you. <laughs> 70s porn <laughs> star. Disarano pod, there's not much left. <laughs> this is mine and your fault because this was full before. You're doing a vodka on them. Right, we need to set up. Oh, well, you can use that as we've you We've got tequila rose here, to be fair. Well, I'll tell you what, we can, tell you, we don't even need these glasses. So you've got your Deserano. Yeah. And you've got your drink. You've got a, you've got a ping pong ball each. Oh, sorry. This Who's is sick into my facial hair, by the way. <laughs> We're, we're gonna we're gonna commentate, and yes. So who's gonna throw first? Oh, you can choose. Who's guest gonna is throw not, first? Guest is always guest first. or host. Did you manage to do mine? By host. Right. host. Ooh, I no, 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 hang on, hang on. This ping pong ball's furry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him he'll want the same. Where's I was gonna say also the bit he normally starts with this. I've disinfected the ball. If anyone saw that, I just dropped it on the floor. Oh, so sorry. I went to, I went to sorry. Thailand, yeah, earlier on this year, and they went, "Oh, this is going." No, no, listen, listen. They went. Um, they went, oh, ping pong show, ping pong show. I went, we're going to watch some world class ping pong here. Listen, if anyone that's been to Thailand, yeah, and been to a ping pong show, they know that it's not world class ping pong championships. <laughs> <that's for sure. laughs> 
So yeah. considering that this ball's a little bit furry, I'm wondering where he's been. But you, know. you don't want to know. The worst you thing don't is, want to I know. can't even grow a touch when I stick it on. <laughs> but you put it on upside down for a I'm start. Not- it's I looking very German, that's all I want to say. Right, twat. Nah, right. You look good. You look good. In the second Thanks. ever Deserano slash Absolute Vodka Pong tournament <laughs> with added Movember excellence. Great cause, by the way. Great cause, Movember. Dean is going to throw first. Am I allowed to throw first? Yeah, yeah. just stick it on your nose. So no pressure. Are you for this then, or no, no, he's going for no, your vodka. He's going for your vodka. And you're, and you're going for, and you're you going for his. I look like Basingwe. What? <laughs> Right, so shout out Morgan C. Yeah, Morgan shout my shout out Morgan C. D. You hit it in a one. Morgan, you're a legend, but fuck you because you really stitched me that day. I was hung over, <laughs> and you got it in first time. I'm now going to try to replicate it. that. So the rules are from memory. It doesn't matter if it bounces or goes in. You can just get. It can it only out. bounce once, or if you do choose to bounce. Right. I'm going for the first. You're time. Cro- you're going to nah, go back. Can I not I'm, use my I'm in the penetrator at yeah. Get back. You can't be even how other foot and team. Fuck VR. Right? Here right. we right. go. Tash Here we go. Up. Shot one. Shot one. Mine came off a while ago. So it's a mono. <laughs> right. Shot shot one. Oh. oh fucking shite of this. Can we have like? that ball returned, please, from the spectator audience? Thank you very much. Anth. If that went in, by the way. You if got that went in, by the way. TD to throw. throw next. What is it? Three maximum. Because I need to know what my seventies porn star name is. Right. Ooh. What's your pet's first name? That's how it normally works, isn't it? <laughs> the first street you lived on. <laughs> Anal D. <Mango. laughs> Anal D. <laughs> Anal is D. your seventies porn star name? <laughs> Big D. I've gone Gallagher as well, by the way, Dean. Go shot one from Anal D. Very <laughs> He also does have a bit of a. Uh, Obstruction in his way. So exactly. there you go. Here we go. No. I like to win when it, the odds are against it me. Didn't bother Morgan C. Tree. Did not. Ready? Oh, that was close. Dean to throw. Ooh. Second throw. Oh, oh! yeah, yeah, he's, he's on the. <laughs> That's what I mean. Off the rim. Pull him back, well, Felix. Don't let him fucking cheat. <clears throat> Anal D shot two. Oh, oh you just play for Middlesbrough. Okay. okay, I feel like the first that, game. Could have gone pro, bro. Oh, wow. Could have gone, gone pro. Bro. Oh, wow. oh, wow. Now ignoring the fact I only broke my ankle last year. That's, oh, not, wow. that's not my narrative. I always got could have gone pro, but I broke my ankle. Here we go. One shot two. Stop being over so much, man. Oh, oh shit, that was nowhere near, but it looked close. See, if you get to do this, then what? Do you do? Yeah, yeah, you stand up, stand up, and walk around. Put it in if you want. And bother me. We're going to be here all night, aren't we? Three shots. I feel like this game's nearly done. Oh, this last one. Is this the fourth shot? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Let's call it. 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 That means you're both going to drink. That means you're both going to drink. Right. The fingers and I've got some. We're going to we're going to do some loose advice. Keep your tash on because we need that for the uh, we need that for the end. Listen, I'm going to play. Stay on me all night, mate. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. He's going around to I'm going to get nice. I'm going to be like, hey, listen, love. It's all natural. This fuck. That's, that's, that's how he doesn't get recognised in persistence. Later, They're like, I thought you were that guy with over hundred thousand followers. But what are you on about? What are you fucking on about? Right. We're going to do some. It's a giggle, just don't take it to heart. He's going to ask the question. We're all going to give a little bit of advice. <laughs> so, loose advice this week, so we get a, a different person to send one a question every week. Don't have to take it seriously. It's a bit of fun. Just a giggle. Loose advice this week is, I want to work with someone famous on a project I have started. How could I go about it? How could I go about it? Yeah, so how could you potentially approach a famous or well-known person that you could collab or get involved? And you don't know him. You don't, I don't think you know them. They might have commented fire emojis on your um, Instagram <laughs> post. This is what I'd do. <clears throat> if it's good enough, I'd do a post and I'd get everyone I know to tag them because that's what I've done and it's yeah. fucking worked. So listen, that's my piece of advice. And if it's good enough, believe me, they'll do it because they will see it. But if it's not good enough, then they won't. That's my only piece of advice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Dean, have you got any advice? I'm not going to lie. I'm WhatsApp and TD. And he's probably fucking worked with him at this point. <laughs> yeah. he, uh, he's fucking big dog already, <laughs> <don't> he? <laughs> He's probably fucking worked with him. Oh, I don't know. 
I'm going down the mutual route. Um, yeah, you love a I'm, bit of like. Oh, I'm going. Love a little bit of back channel, don't you? Do, um, on I'm, the on the fence, Saunders. No, no, I'm figuring out who they know that I know, yeah. or who they know that knows someone that I know. Someone, you know, Inception. Is and I'm basically going to get a mutual link. Podception. Somehow. Podception. Podception. <laughs> back again. Yeah, I'm going to try and go down the mutual route. Nice. Have you ever done that in like the band world? Have you ever done that? Have you tried to book anyone that you didn't really have a link to? Have you ever like tried to do that in the kind of rock world before? Honestly, it went backwards for us because everybody that used to support us. Are fucking massive now. <laughs> yeah, you were telling me the other day someone is it someone's headlining for Blink? No, no, no. Someone's headlining for no, no. Papa, so, Papa Roach, so and if yeah, anyone so. said that Dean couldn't multitask, by the way, this is exception. He's asking a question and pouring his next to Serrano at the yeah, same time. No, no, my friend, my friends band are playing the. the uh, <laughs> yeah. I can't take it serious. Yeah, so my friends band who used to support us back in the day is uh, playing the City Hall in a couple of weeks, but they've just came off the back of an arena tour. Nice. And Papa Roach supported them. Jesus. Nice. Which is, uh, can he fucking Cut my life into pieces. This that's is a, my last resort. That's a one eye. I could be a goth too. I, I'm well, I'm down, with, I'm down with TD. Like, I, I agree. Like, I've done it in the past. Like, I think if you, if you send people stuff, if you continuously send people stuff, you might not get on their radar the first time you ever do it. You might take it. Might take a few times of tagging them in something. It might take a few times of sending music to them. It might take a few times before they fully realise what's going on. But I think persistency. Are you were talking persistency? Hey. Persistency. Consistency. Someone's coming out night, isn't he? Someone's coming. Consistency persistently. going to persistence hey. uh, is going to be the one. Like you were talking yeah. about it with content. I think the and, same. We've tried to work and with it's people. So true. If whatever it is that you're bringing to someone's good enough, believe me, they will fucking jump on board. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. And, and it's the most humbling thing because if they don't, then you know it's not. So you need to level it up a bit. Well, 100%. We've, we've had it uh, with Loose Fest as well, yeah. where we'd put on the Loose Fest socials, or who do you want to see at the next Loose Fest? And like loads of the customers were obviously being put Put Felix that Hey. Yeah. There was me that though. I was like, <laughs> get him on. Get him on. <laughs> I, I, next year, I want all three years on. Plus me, plus Dean J, plus plus. Well, D- you can rap. Dean J, plus Dean J, MC okay. console name. Thing is, he's back DS. to back, anal D. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> with or without the tash. <laughs> Listen, definitely with. I don't, <laughs> don't recognise you now. It's gone. Why is it off? <laughs> That's it. Isn't it? Um, but we we did it with Loose Fest, and obviously we put on our socials like, "Who do you want to see?" And loads of the customers were interacting, and they were like basically tagging people, and and two. Big artists, big artists were getting tagged quite a lot, and they were liking the comments, and then reached out to the Loose Fest page and basically went, "Just contact my team. Like, I'd be, I'd, I'd love to play." So I think it's like, did anyone I tag Anal D? Nobody tagged Anal D. They're saving that. Anal D's got a bit more work to do. They're saving that for Loose Fest 2024. Yeah, <laughs> but I think that's the point, isn't it? It's like it, it's the power of like. If you're getting tagged by that many people, it's like you give the people what you want. Do you know what I mean? Like, give do you, the know, people what do you want. know what's mad as well? Yeah, like I know a lot of people that have got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of followers, and believe me, they're checking their messages. Like, no matter how many they get, they're checking them and they're seeing them. Yeah. So if you and look, like what I said to what I said before, like if it's good enough, they will see it, yeah. and if it makes sense, it'll all happen. Well, like, uh, and that's what I've yeah. experienced before. Again, it links into all the previous pods, but great story with Morgan and, and Patrick yeah. Toppin's label. Like Morgan did a similar thing to yourself, like getting all his like his, his followers to basically tag Patrick and look yep. at that. And and like I say, if, if if you're getting that many people tagging you in that, it's like, well, bloody hell, there's a bit of there's a bit of interest. Demand in there, yeah, hundred yeah, percent exactly. supply demand. If you build it. They will come. Love it. Right, let's call it. Thank you very much, TD. Appreciate it. Big round of applause. Boom. I don't want to carry on. Three, two, one.